When you have a lot to say, but you just don't have enough talent to express it with graphics like myself, you can resort to typography. Just playing, typography is an art of its own. And in this video, we're gonna talk about three kinetic typography techniques to help you produce meaningful blocks of titles. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing awesome. So this is gonna be a very straightforward tutorial. We're gonna talk about three steps of doing great kinetic typography. We're, of course, we're gonna talk about the design. We're gonna talk about the animation and how to bring focus you know, into individual parts of your block of kinetic typography. And please let the video play to the end because it helps out our channel tremendously. And let's go ahead, learn some of these techniques. Let's create some awesome kinetic typography. So remember, you can always download our project files for free off our website. The link will be in the description. So as I said, we're breaking this down into three parts. The first part is the design. That's what we have to get done first. Second part is the animation of you know each title. And the third part is being able to use a null object to accurately position your composition wherever you need it to be. So I'm gonna to touch through each of these steps and we'll get started. So obviously the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to lay out your entire titles. So we'll grab the textile tool here at the top. So we're gonna to wanna to type out our first set of words. I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the first title block. As you can see, you know, this is our first word that we'll be focused on. So I wanna type that out to begin with. And I'm gonna use one typeface throughout this entire tutorial, which is gonna be Fire of Sands heavy which is the font you can change through it but i'm using heavy all the way through and i have my character window down here for the sake of zooming in and you want to make your first title you know maybe big depends on what you want to do just increase the size just put it in there and you can center it up with the align tab if you want to do that that's totally fine and then obviously you're going to want to create another layer for your next line of words and we can come here and make this smaller to fit underneath our line and change the color so this is where we can create some color contrast the design is everything and we can come here, grab both titles, and we come here to the line tab and left align these and grab our second title and just decrease the size until we have it fit perfectly. And we can see that we have perfect you know, alignment from our first word to our second line of words. And what you want to be thinking about is that you don't have to put each word in its own text layer. These two words are together because we can animate them together. And I'm gonna show you some animation principles that are going to allow you to not have to do one word titles, which is the very slow way of doing this. And as you can see right here, I've typed out another line with four words in it. All I'm gonna do is continue to make sure that it fits within that nice block of, the you know, nice block that we're putting together here. And this is all about design. And if you can't necessarily find the right size hold down control on your keyboard and you come here to the size and it'll slightly increase it and just block it up as best as you can and this is how you can put together a nice design so jumping forward you want to be able to uh, help variate your design by putting in different colors you know i'm using the same color palette which is advisable and just by creatively putting your titles in smaller blocks things that might not be as important you know important words obviously should be larger than non-important words so you can see I'm able to position each of these titles to fit in this nice entire squared block and maybe a square block is all you want. We can continue with this nice square block we've created here, but we can also take our additional titles and hit R on our keyboard for rotation and rotate them by 90 degrees. And you can just put them on the sides, you know, just kind of like that. And that allows us to be able to animate this a little bit later in a unique way so don't limit yourself to where you can position your text because you can put it all over the place and we can move you know our camera if you will wherever we want and if you want to put titles on a size like this it's good to just know all the words that you want to put up on the screen and then you can rotate it now and then we can you know animate it into the upward position when we get there so i did jump through the design portion because all you need to know is how to resize you can also increase your tracking of the words if you want to help fit a little bit better. Uh, but like I said, you need to be able to put up all the words uh, that you know you're going to animate first. Uh, and then we can get into the animation portion, which we will do now. All right, I'm going to show you a handful of animation principles that you're going to be able to implement in any way that you want. You're going to be ready to animate anything. So here we are, and let's go and animate this. So we'll start with our first word here. And all we're going to do is open up our title layer and where it says animate we can click on this and we can add like a scale okay and i'm gonna keep this very simple so we don't get ahead of ourselves i can set the scale down to zero percent and i can open up the range selector one and i'll add a keyframe for start 
and we move forward by a half a second maybe a little bit more and we set that start up to 100 percent and we'll select both our keyframes hit f9 on our keyboard to make them easy ease keyframes we click the graph editor and we click one of these points here and we can bring that vertice across go to the bottom one here bring that vertice across so now if i just solo this layer we can see what we've done nice so we have a very simple and clean animation of our first word now i can bring up our second set of word i'll just use a solo right here and we can apply the same principle so we go into that layer go to animate but this time i want to add say like a rotation and what's cool about using the text layers here to animate is i can come here to animate tab again and make it a 3d layer enable per character 3d and we can come here you know increase the y rotation to 90 degrees and everything's facing us and we'll come here, you know, uh, right after our first word gets almost animated on, we'll add a keyframe for that start percent underneath range selector one. And we'll move forward again and set it up to 100%. Now you'll have each letter animating on. However, the word's already up. So you'll have to come here to the add, go to property and add an opacity. And this technique is very important to remember if you want to be able to hide your title before certain animations. So add opacity and set it down to 0%. Now, by setting down the opacity, the word will not be up, and then you can animate in uh, the you know the word, the letters, you know, one by one without it being there. That's awesome. Now we come here to the advanced tab, and right now, obviously, you'll see it's being animated on by characters. But if you set the based on from characters to words, now it'll just do one word at a time. And this is exactly why you didn't have to put every word by itself because you have the ability to animate multiple words together within one text layer which can help you save a tremendous amount of time if you're able to think ahead of time about how you want your animation to be and that works great all right so we have our next word here and i'll just show this one really quick just to continue to show some more concepts here so we'll come here to animate and add a position and for this one maybe we just want this to drop down or up you can just grab the y position and you can put underneath the word like like that right and you can just bring this layer put it underneath your current layer and then come here to our Y position I could bring this down and it's already there right but you know we go back to add and we go to our property and add that opacity set down 0% this is gonna be hidden we go to our range selector you know we find where we want to animate this in we add a keyframe for start we move forward and set it to 100% and you know using those same principles we go back to the advanced tab and set it to like words so like I said you don't have to animate each you know word by itself which is a very inefficient way of doing it unless you have a very specific animation but i want to talk about a very specific animation here where our word kind of just over animates it's called an overshoot animation it's really easy to do this so we have our word right here billion and we'll come here to animate and we'll add a you know a scale to this all right and we'll set the scale down to zero percent we'll open up a range selector and we'll add a keyframe for start and we'll set it up to 100 percent obviously and you can make them easy, easy keyframes, of course. And we'll come here to animate and we'll add another scale. And it's not going to add, it's going to animate. And we'll set the scale up larger to like 120%. All right. So then we'll go back to those original keyframes that we've created. Open range selector one, add a keyframe for start. And we'll move slightly past the last keyframe and set it up to 100%. So by doing this and making them easy, easy keyframes, you will create an overshoot animation like so. Let me just solo that real quick. So our overshoot animation goes boom up like that. And that's how you can create an overshoot. I want to show you how you can create like a quick flicker to our last title here. So everything's animated on and just a quick new concept here, creating a quick flicker. So you have your, you know, in animation, which is just a scale up or a position up. And we'll come here to animate and we'll just add an opacity. And I want to flicker this title. So all I have to do is lower the opacity by a little bit to like 70% or something. And I'll increase the start percent just by a little bit, maybe like 20%. And we'll come here to the advanced tab and where it says randomize order, we'll set it to on and we'll all click the stopwatch for random seed. You really can't see that, but it's random, right? And you can type in time asterisk 10. So it'll always be animating and now as a result if i solo this layer we now have a really cool flicker title here and you know that is pretty cool and all you have to do is make sure that flicker is above your previous animation preset so it'll be hidden before it pops up and then we'll just put this you know flicker animation we just created on top of the previous animation so it's hidden 
and now you'll have a Flickr animation uh, with your title. So that's a really cool concept uh, for this. And before we move on to our next technique, I want to give a huge shout out to our After Effects templates. So this is our Motion Graphics Starter Pack in its own extension right here inside of After Effects. So we currently have 500 motion graphic templates in here ranging from titles, animated backgrounds, motion graphics, logo animations, and shape transitions. And what I love about this pack and why we created it was to help you spruce up your compositions really fast. So for example, we have something here called Accent Motion Graphics, and which are these very simple, small motion graphics preview every asset before I apply it and I click apply when I find a template that I want and it automatically applies it to our composition and just by duplicating one element in this pack out of 500 you can spruce up your entire composition with accent graphics and to save you even more time you can come here just to our clusters category and you click apply and within a click of a button you can apply an entire cluster set to help you spruce up your motion graphic projects. So if you're looking to save a tremendous amount of time on your future projects you can take a look at our motion graphic starter pack along with several of our other templates on our website. The link will be below if you pick up anything you will be supporting our channel so thank you very much. And for our third technique we're going to talk about animating the entire group and putting titles into our own unique perspective. As you can see we can zoom in and rotate the thing. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how we can do this. All right, so right now we just have our normal animation every Word being able to be animated on the timing uh, is pretty good. You know timing is everything obviously, but we want to be able to You know have a little bit more attention to this and plus it's not even centered So what we're gonna do is go to layer new null object and we'll grab everything here and parent it to the null object all right so what we want to do is every time a new line pops up, we want to just do a quick jolt. You know, we want to put this centered up and put it in perspective. So we'll go, grab our null object. We'll hit P and keyboard for position. We'll add a keyframe for that. And let's go to our title action saves. Click this crosshair. Click on title action saves. And let's grab our Y position and let's center up our first word. So we know our first word is going to be about here. Okay. And we just move forward by a few frames and we can kind of just center like these two together. So like these two uh, lines are centered in the composition. So essentially what's happening here, boom, boom, right? So there it is and it jumps up to that next line. Then by the time the third line comes on, we'll add a keyframe for that position right before the thing is on, that line's on. We'll move forward by a few frames and we'll just slightly have it jump up to kind of recenter itself. So now if we just scrub through here, boom, boom you know it's very subtle um and you know we have our next word here so we'll add that keyframe there and before it's done we'll just go ahead and slightly readjust the overall animation and you know right before that next one's on we'll add a keyframe so just by using these principles boom 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 you know so by using this position technique we're able to kind of keep the entire block centered together now of course what happens when you have words on the side well, we'll go ahead right before that comes on before we need to go over there. What we'll do is we'll hit shift S and shift R on keyboard to bring up scale and rotation. We'll add a keyframe for position and click the stopwatches for scale and rotation. So this entire animation is locked down. And then when we need to get over there, what we're going to do is some crazy stuff. So we're going to set the rotation to negative 90 degrees or 90 degrees, depending where you place you know, your stuff. We can scale in if you want to, you don't have to, and we'll just reposition. So perhaps, you know, I don't want this directly in the center. I want to be able to just keep that down there. So now it's going to go from this and it's going to zoom in. Our next word comes on. Nice. You know, perhaps I can just raise up the Y position a little bit more and that can stay on just like that. You can do some other animation and then we'll add keyframes there to lock this in place. And then obviously we're going to want to, you know, shift this over for our last word. So you know, we can set the rotation back down to zero. Uh, we can reposition this, scale out, and just put it in the right position. All right, so now we have our words animated and we have the entire block being animated with a null object so we can create our own perspective and it all flows nicely together. And of course, make sure you enable motion blur here at the top, turn on motion blur for your layers, and you'll be good to go with your own typography block. All right, so that wraps up our tutorial on these kinetic typography techniques. Now you should be able to showcase whatever you need to say with a voiceover or without one, or if you just need to put in place titles over uh, graphics, there you have it. So 
If you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.